Coden Farm asked, I like your arrow tutorial. A tutorial on drag logic would also be helpful. Alrighty. We're going to use Area 2D nodes to detect collisions and check whether we're clicking on draggable scenes. In this example, we can drag these scenes on the left around. On the right is a drop zone scene which destroys them if they overlap it. It's possible to drag multiple scenes at once and the example works on a touchscreen as well. You can find the source code in the description below. The draggable scene has an Area 2D as a root node, a collision shape and a sprite. I've set the collision shape to match the sprite shape. The draggable scene has a signal that's fired when there's an input event on its collision shape. Let's take a look at the draggable script. Previous mouse position is the last position the cursor was and is used to calculate how much the scene should move. Is dragging flags the scene as able to move. If there's a UI touch action on the shape of the scene, we set the previous mouse position to the position of the touch event. I've set up the UI touch action to include left mouse button clicks. If we select all devices, it will also work on touch screens. You can find these settings in project settings, input map. The input function is called whenever there's an input event. It's not tied to the shape of the draggable scene. I've put this logic here because if the cursor moves too quickly, it could move outside of the draggable scene and would stop movement. First off, we're not interested in doing anything if the scene isn't set to move. If it is, then whenever the user releases the left mouse button, we stop the scene from dragging. Otherwise, if we want to drag the scene and the event is mouse motion, we add the change of position between the current position of the cursor and the last position to it. We then update the previous mouse position. This makes it so we're only ever moving the scene a small amount every input event. The drop zone simply destroys all overlapping Area 2D scenes if the user releases the left mouse button. And that's all there is to it. Other than that, there's a simple button that just resets the scene. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to like or dislike the video, and if you have any other questions, please comment below. Cheers!